the ship just had its disembarkation talk, which is very similar, if not exactly the same, as every other disembarkation. Have your bags out before 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can leave them out tonight. We are, have our own transport to Corvera, Italy, as a matter of fact. So we are yellow. We can get off whenever we want, but everybody has to be off at 9 a.m. Good morning and welcome to San Basilio Dock or Cruise Port, Venice Cruise Port. We are here. Time for a very early breakfast and we have to be out of our cabins by 8 and we are being picked up at 9. And out here is the Grand Canal. What a breakfast view. Some final statistics. We traveled 1358 nautical miles, which converts to 2515 kilometers. The ship is 131 meters in length, 18 meters wide, which is how we can fit through the skinny Corinth Canal. 117 crew, maximum passengers 184. Where you see the dome with the two spires is St. Mark's Square. Now if I had gotten up at 5 o'clock in the morning, we would have sailed right by it. Sorry I'm shooting into the sun. That is where we're docked right now, and you can see St. Mark's. Let me enlarge it. There we go, St. Mark's Square. I know you're not going to believe this, but the last time Steve and I were in Venice was 1978. We could have stayed on, but it is so crowded in the summer and beastly hot that I preferred going into the mountains. That's where we get off and we have to walk to the main cruise terminal. I thought the terminal was this way, but I'm wrong. The terminal is this way. And there are our suitcases right here. Well, here's one. Yes, there it is. The green and purple. If you keep walking when you get outside, by the way, it's nothing terminal. Once you get your bags, you're out of there, and then that's it. They don't let you back in. So this is where you catch a water taxi or a private boat to get into Venice or to the train station or even the airport. There is a toilet around, you can go in the inside where you would um, embark and they did tell me, yes, you can use the toilet.